Hi, this is Elisa from Local King Robert's Dam. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful car. Um, let's get started. Um, we're going to use our Koi Pong stamp set and our matching die and our ripple background. Have you worked with the Perlux before? Um, Perlux, they are kind of fine powder. And uh, so we're going to use our Versamark um, view Perlux. Try to keep it simple. Don't try to put too many different colors. We're going to have a nice uh, brush and the big one, the soft one. And also we are going to have a one tiny one. Um, we are going to um, have a hairspray. We're going to use a hairspray to seal it after we finish. We are going to have have at least embossing body if you have one that's good if you don't have one we're going to use a swiffer it does the same thing okay so are you enjoy all the tutorials that i post on my online dvd library so far um especially this month i've been creating a lot of tutorial my husband always teasing me he say i'm like a diesel engine truck um it's hard to start once the when it's a star is keep running and running so i guess so far my engine is running good and it's started so um we are going to have um we got the stamping on this black glossy car stock. If you don't have a glossy uh car stock, black glossy car stock, the regular black car stock they also work just fine. So um in this car, I just want to try something on the black glossy. I think it looks pretty good. But uh, if you don't have a glossy, um, regular car style, they work just fine. So we are going to use this embossing body um, to um, rub your um, black car style. So it's kind of like a fine powder here. Okay. If you don't have it, um, the Swiffer, they do the same thing. They work the same thing. So um, I'm just wondering, what do they make these black um, embossing bodies? I don't know. Try the baby powder. They maybe work just fine. Okay, maybe if it work, please let me know and I will share with all my friends and my viewer. Okay, so we are going to um, stamping or um, koi fish first. So we're going to stamp three times and we're going to use our versa mark. So that's just ink or versa mark. And the versa mark is kind of sticky. Um, if you don't, um, after you use that, remember try to clean your. Um, stamp don't let let it leave on your stamp so when you stamp sometimes you can cut over some image it's okay I like that better way um the only thing when you stamping on the black and um black um glossy car stuff you have to be a little bit care um, careful because the have uh, um the surface is very small it's shiny glossy um so hold your um stamp tight and try to don't um move it okay so um in um versa mark is a um, no color it's like a watermark okay and make sure your stand um impact is uh, um juicy so i know it's a little bit hard to see but don't worry about it okay and now we are going to use at least a this tiny brush i'm going to um zoom in a little bit Okay, we're going to work on koi fish first. Try to keep simple. I was looking for the orange color and unfortunately I can't find the orange. So it's okay. We are going to just use the three color, um, white, gold, and uh, red color. So you're going to um, just dip in your brush in a little bit white, white color, not too much. If you use too much, you're just wasting your, um, your perlax. Um, this is uh, these techniques is very interesting. As soon as uh, when your image cover very thin layer of perlax, no matter how much extra perlax you put, it's just wasted. So just uh, a little bit. You use your tiny brush, you pick it up, and just uh, put a little bit here. And then you are going to use a little bit gold color, just uh, tapping on top of your koi fish. Okay, and then you can kind of clean your brush a little bit like that. And then a little bit red color. Always start with a little bit. If it's not enough, um, add a little bit more. Remember my previous uh, um, tutorial? I say um, glitter is not your friend. Do it at your friend's house. Um, same thing. 
Prolax is not your friend either, so try to do it at your friend's house because they go everywhere. Once when you're tapping your um, Prolax on top of the image, you can use your small brush and gently rub. I mean, drawing a circle. Try to, um, let me zoom in here, see better? Okay, kind of blending the color like this. Okay, and then you can go back to digging a little bit other color. Yeah, just drawing a little circle. That's how... Okay. Don't put too much. More doesn't mean better, except the food. Okay? <laughs> okay, just uh, kind of coloring. I mean like drawing the circle, blending the color. Okay, want to put a little bit more uh, red color. I have to go digging my stuff and try to looking for the orange color. I think this koi fish will look awesome um, in the orange color. Okay, so that's pretty much like this. Okay, if you find that the, the color is a little bit transparency, um, you can add a little bit more. As long as as soon as the, when they completely cover, um the versa mark and no matter how much you put is not going to stick anymore so don't put too much it's going to waste it okay so that's what it look like right and then you're going to use a soft brush kind of brush the extra powder okay and then now we're going to use this sweeper kind of wipe off it work very well the extra powder that's something look like that okay here has a little bit powder here if that really bothers you i know which bother a lot of people you're going to use a q-tip okay pick up the water not too wet and then you're going to just gently remove that one that's it. So instead of the make a one on uh, one more car, fix your boo boo. Boo boo is good. Boo boo made your car handmade. Okay, just like that. Okay, like that. Okay, and then we're going to working on our um water lily. So same thing. That's our water lily, and this is how I ink my um stamp. Gently tap tap tap. Okay, like I say, you can cut off a part of uh, your image. It doesn't have to be all the image on top. Try to find the um, gap here. Give a nice firm press and uh, hold your stamp tight because the paper is glossy, it's kind of slippery. We don't want to have a um, smear image, okay? And then here I have some space. I'm going to just give a nice firm press. press. Okay, now we're going to work on my uh, water lily. So I'm going to have a one, um, this white color, purple, and I have a three green. Try to keep it simple. Don't put too much color. Um, as simple as you can. So again, we're going to pick up some white color first. Just uh, working on the flower. Just uh, looking from the side, you can actually see the reflection of the ink. Okay, so white color, and I'm going to dip in a little bit purple. Okay, you can see the image is uh, slowly popping out. Okay, like this. And I'm going to do a little bit. I really love this purple. I think the purple is a really pretty color. Okay, don't put too much. Remember what I say, you put too much, you're just wasting your powder. Um, more doesn't mean better, okay? So that's the flower. Okay, you can pick up a little bit purple here so just drawing a little bit circle and then we are going to do the green okay sound green try to blending um, the powder two different color together um, get a little bit green on the flower that's totally fine they were green before they turn to flower those water lily see how pretty it is okay like this and then you can do a little bit darker green like this, okay. I think that's really pretty already. I'm going to working on this part. 
green, 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 and a little bit darker green. Three different kinds of green, and I have to go looking for the my orange parallax. Okay, so I think that's pretty much about it. Okay, again, we're going to use a um, soft brush, gently brush off the extra um, powder first. The sweeper. This is just regular sweeper. It's not the magic sweeper for stamping. Maybe I should mark this one as a low cookie sweeper and I can sell five bucks. Okay, so isn't that pretty? And then we are going to add those ripple on top. So um, I did my first one and I put the ripple in the middle. I kind of find that was a little bit too busy. So um, my final card. I just uh, use my ripple background stamp. I just uh, stamp on this side and this side. Keep the middle a little bit empty so that way the fish will show better. So this is our um, background stamp. Oops. I'm going to ink our background stamp here with a um, first mark. And then I am going to see like this side is more empty, right? So I'm going to just do a corner here, put on top, and then just rub with your finger. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit here. Okay, and then this time we can use a little or bigger brush. Okay, we can just rub on top. I'm going to show you. See those ripple is uh, appearing, okay? So got a little bit circle, okay? Isn't that amazing? Those ripple, okay? And then when you finish, same thing. Kind of brush off your um, extra powder here, and then before you do anything, use a sweeper. The sweeper will really clean. The extra um, powder they will really remove that one is that pretty okay and next we are going to seal it so you can buy the those expensive um, spray but I just found out the hairspray works just fine so we are going to okay this is hairspray you don't have to use exactly the same brain okay and then we're going to just do like this and it smell good too it smell good too okay so just uh, leave it don't put it too much hairspray okay if you put too much hairspray um the the pearlaxes is start to smearing okay and i think um the hairspray is dry already so that's what look like the final project um it's 2d is very pretty already but i like like i say if it's a special frame let's make it 3d so i just did one more in the on the black card style and now we use our matching die we die cut it and then i am going to just mount my fish give a little bit final touch up so Perlax on the black glossy cardstock. I think that's pretty cool. Thank you for watching my tutorial. See you next time.